Hi, I'm Aaron. This is More Than The Sun, and today I'm going to show you how I use a micro bit and some LEDs to add some life to Halloween decorations. So we're going to take the micro bit and stick it inside of a jack-o'-lantern that's going to have lights in it to make it look like there's a candle in there to make the eyes glow, and then it'll be hooked up to a speaker and be playing some music. Over here we have the code that uh, runs it, and we have a whole bunch of kind of variables that get, get initialized at the beginning. And so we'll start by looking at the candle. So the way that we did the LEDs is we have one LED strip connected, so we initialize it right here, and then we break it up in half. The first four go for the candle, the second four go for the eyes. We have a function over here for the candle, and so what it does is it clears out the candle, it clears out the four LEDs, and then it's going to pick a random number of LEDs to light up. So somewhere between two to four LEDs are going to light up each time. And it's going to light them up with a random color. So there's two color options. One is orange and one is yellow. And it's going to alternate between those two. And then it's also going to pick kind of a random amount of time for them to turn on. After that, it's just going to keep cycling through over and over again. And so we get kind of a flickering because the color's changing just slightly and then we have different amounts of LEDs going on and off. And so here's the function for the eyes. There's a an array that's a list of colors that the eyes could be and it cycles through that array and so we pick a color and then it's gonna dim that, it's gonna kind of fade the color in going from zero to full brightness and then once it gets there it's gonna fade it back out and then it's going to cycle to the next color. It's going to go through the list and it'll start over. Here's the song. We just kind of have a list of notes and we cycle through them one note at a time right here. Each of them is a half beat long and we just do that until we get to the song and then it repeats when it gets to the end. And you can see over here that what I've done is I took all the notes in the song and I made variables for them and then I put them together in an array. Now I didn't come through here and manually put this together. Instead what I did was I pasted the list into the JavaScript code. And so you can see right here, down towards the bottom, this is where I initialize each of those variables. And then here's the song that I pasted in. And so the sound is turned off here on the um, simulation, but when you turn it on, So the next step from here is to go ahead and download it and we run it on the micro bit. So from here we just cut up the LEDs and hook them up with these kind of special LED strip connectors. These are easier than soldering and a little bit quicker, uh, but they do have their problems. Sometimes the connection isn't great and you have to kind of fiddle with it. The LEDs connect to pin 1, and um, once you get them there, you should see them all lined up. From here, we connect the speaker to pin 1, or to pin 0, and to ground. And one of the things I noticed is that the speaker is a little bit quiet, and so um, if you wanted to get more sound, you'd have to hook up to like a some kind of plugged-in speaker with an amplifier connected to it to uh, really get some volume. Next I cut strips of wax paper to wrap around the LEDs to diffuse the light and make it more of a glow. I've done a similar project in the past using Arduino and I found that the micro bit is a little bit quicker to wire up and does a better job with the multitasking portion of this and, and so really simplifies the coding.
After it's all assembled, I put it in the pumpkin. I unfolded some paper clips and, and poked them through the sides around the eyes to hold the eyes in place and then everything else kind of dropped in there. I put a bag around the micro bit to keep it from getting gross from the insides of the pumpkin and it's all done. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if there's any projects you're planning to do with Microbit or Arduino for Halloween or just if you got inspired to use microcontrollers from watching this video. Thanks.